What is up guys, Tyler Casey here, and thank you for purchasing the Fire Effects Cinepack. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't purchased it and still have the free version, well, you can still watch this video to see if there's anything that you want to get in it. Just unzip the files and then you should have all these. You probably click this to come see the tutorial. Uh, there's the sound effects, LUTs, Fireframe, Burst, and Embers. If you guys want to go ahead and drag these LUTs in, uh, we'll just go ahead and copy these and then we'll come over to local dish drive C. We'll come over to program files. We'll go up to Adobe. We'll go to, uh, where is it? Adobe Premiere. We're going to go down to Lumetri and we're going to go down to LUTs, Creative, and we're going to paste all those LUTs right in there. Uh, click that, click that, and we're going to paste all those in. Uh, we named all our LUTs. They all start with Cinepack, so you can easily find them within all your LUTs. So all our LUTs from now on will have that. So let's go ahead and import. I'm going to just drag and drop this entire uh, pack right into Premiere. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to go ahead and import everything but the LUTs. So we get a few errors because you can't import LUTs. So we have all our embers in here. We have the fire burst. We have the frames. So to pretty much use anything in this pack, you're going to have to change your blending mode. This works in all editors, whether it's Sony Vegas or anything like that. And the way you do that is, so let's say we want to grab one of these transitions. Uh, let's check out transition two. play that. Uh, sometimes my premiere glitches out like this, but it's all good. So I'm going to drag that on. And so when it's in here, you just see the black. So there's two, uh, you can use any of these modes. You can really scroll down and see what kind of like, like this effect's pretty cool, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, there is, so there's screen, which works pretty good. And then there's also uh, light and color, which works out pretty good as well. So use either of those, whatever one you like most. I'm gonna stick with screen for some of these. And we have a transition right there. So that's how easy it literally is to use. Um, we could add a few more of these. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how I'd use this. Uh, and then we could go into the sound effects over here. So yeah, I mean, we could drag that on. Let's check that out. Perfect. We could even slow it down a little bit. And then let's say we want like a little fire aftermath. We can, uh, go into the embers. We can scroll through here. Uh, we can use any of these embers. So... Let's say after the fire, we get a little uh, little ember afterburn. So let's go to screen. And we got the embers on the side there. So what we could do as well is we could come back over to the sound effects. And we can grab, uh, where is it? We have the ember loop somewhere in here. Where's that? There we go. So this one's pretty long. So you can literally just grab like a little snippet. And yeah, we can just drag that out. So let's see how that sounds. And we can almost just like turn that down a little bit. And the cool thing about these effects is like you can literally stack them. So we could grab some of these fire bursts. There's all sorts of fire bursts. Ones that come across the screen. One that come from the bottom. Ones that raise like that. So we could drag that on. Let's see if there's a good moment. Let's put that on screen. Yeah. So let's check out some of these LUTs as well. So let me grab this. I have this cool double fire thing right here. Let's go ahead and put light and color on that. So now we can come over to our LUTs since we imported them. If you haven't imported them, just come over to browse and find them. But if you import them, you're going to see all these Cinepack LUTs right there. So we could go through these. Uh, like We could literally check them out. There's, there's this one. It kind of gives it a blue look. That's one of my favorites. This one makes it super toasty. This one's super neon pink, crazy one. You can play with the intensity if you think it's a little too much. If this one isn't punchy enough, you can always bring up the brightness. So there's quite a few LUTs. We even have like this green fire, which is pretty cool as well. And then one other thing that I like to do with some of these effects, which I also am going to drop a tutorial on, a separate one, but I'll show you guys here is to get uh, the colors to change on these is just grab color balance HLS. I do this a lot of my tutorials, but it's a really easy to do fact. Um, <clears throat> and as this goes, I just keyframe the hue 
and I'm gonna change the hue so this is a super easy way to get colored effects and we got colorful fire so this is you see that a lot in a lot of brother music videos like some of the videos for like Lil Pump and Kelly Uchi and a lot of videos like that so it's one of my favorite effects to do with fire so you guys can definitely play around with that and this works for all of them including the embers like we could try that on some of the embers let's go ahead and drag that on or even if you just want one color like if you don't like the LUTs you could easily get the green fire you could go through and get the there's all the colors right there so you could really play around with those and have lots of fun with that another cool thing that I included were some of these split screens and this is one of them right here so we could easily do a quick little split screen so we have this right here um, you can move it over just a little bit zoom in and fill the whole screen so it's right in the middle there and what we can do is we can go ahead and turn that on to light and color and we can grab one of these tequila shots and we can drag it over to the right side and we can just make a click that make a quick little mask on it right up the middle of the fire and grab the bottom too we can drag that out Boom, and just feather it just a little bit just so you have that there. And then we can grab another clip. Uh, I'll grab one of these clips. I'll just throw him down there on the bottom. I think this clip might move a lot though. Let's see. Zoom it out a little bit, move it over. And there you go. You have a really cool split screen. And the cool thing is it's animated as well. So let's see how that looks. Obviously it's not gonna go like that. This clip moves a little too much. So I probably want like a tripod type clip, but you guys kind of get the idea you have two separate shots and you can really do whatever you want with these and you can totally add the HLS to this as well you want crazy color changing effects whatever you want if you're not looking if you're not liking the effects of these you can always uh, change it to screen as well and it looks a little bit better so so those are a lot of my favorite things to do with these effects if you guys want to check out let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you guys have any questions let me know what you guys think about the pack as well and send me any examples on instagram of you guys using it we'd love to repost you this is tyler casey from cinepacks and we appreciate you guys purchasing the pack we'll catch you guys next time thanks